All right, gonna take a few minutes here to answer a letter I received about Doug Stauffer. Dr. Doug Stauffer, BibleDoug.com, I think it is, is his website. And uh, I have to officially pull my, my support um, and recommendation of Doug Stauffer, uh, his newest edition of his Rightly Divided book, which, you know, people say, do you really agree with everything you wrote? You know, from what I read, I agree with a lot of it, but some things there were disagreements there or whatever. Again, you know, I, I try to recommend people that I know are, are pretty good and whatever else. Um, but, you know, it, it comes down to it, as I've always stated, that's your authority right there. Okay, not man, including me. But um, Doug Stauffer's been involved in some things now that I can't just just look the other way and say, oh, no big deal, or whatever. And so I've recommended things in the past. Uh, again, I'm going, going to be redoing the ministry here soon. A lot of the things that I used to recommend are, uh, I've got a lot of work to do uh, going through all those changes right now. But one of the big, you know, one of the, I shouldn't say big ones, but somebody I used to support in the past was Doug Stauffer. I don't do that anymore. Um, he even admitted that his book, um, Rightly Dividing the, the Word of Truth or the Dispensationalism, the key to understanding scripture or whatever, um, he said that he no longer believes that, that works had anything to do with uh, salvation in the Old Testament, uh, which is clearly wrong. And that's a whole other study. I'm not going to get into it right now. I've talked about that. Um, so uh, I don't agree with that. But here's the letter. Brian, I have, re I have really learned a lot from your teachings. Teaching the truth has been a big blessing in my life. I especially love your teaching on the time of Jacob's trouble and dispensation. It makes so much sense and I bear witness to it. It is truly an answer to prayer and I am extremely grateful to you for being obedient to the Lord. I was very interested in the book, One Book Rightly Divided. As I searched out the book online, I was directed to Doug, Dr. Stauffer on the show Prophecy Watchers discussing his book with the host Gary Stearman, which also showed Doug, Dr. Stauffer's many visits to the show. Although Prophecy Watchers has some truths, catching away of the body before God's wrath and dispensationalism, this program, among many, was designed to cause confusion and dupe the body of Christ. I would have to agree with that, yeah. From what I've seen of that program, and I did actually a video coming out uh, rebuking them not long ago because they had this guy that created the artificial intelligence Bible, you know, whatever. There's some real heretical stuff on that show. Um, Prophecy Watchers I'm talking about. Uh, this sent a red flag and grieved me. Dr. Stauffer's appearance on the show may be nothing to be alarmed about, but worth further investigation. I sure hesitate to say guilt by association here. Uh, the host, Gary Stearman of Prophecy Watchers, has frequent guests such as Billy Crone, New Version Heretic, Tom Horn, major issue there, connections to the Catholics and stuff, and L.A. Marzulli, to name a few. L.A. Marzulli, I think, is the guy... So you talk about giants or uh, aliens or something, I forget. But Gary Stearman also flaunts lots of Masonic occult hand signals during the show, which she includes a bunch of those, um, you know, there, which, you know, that's some of that is somewhat subjective. Uh, I'm careful on some of that stuff, unless it's a very clear posed, you know, thing that they're doing or whatever else. And I just did the thing to show it, you know, whatever people take that stuff and then they say, oh, see, he's doing it too. If they're, if they're posing for a photograph and they're doing this, the hand sign or whatever else, that's one thing. If you're freeze framing a little part of their video where they're moving their hand a certain way or whatever, eh, be careful of that. I mean, Ruckman a lot of times would go like this to people, but if you look at when he's doing that, you know, Peter Ruckman, he's got a piece of chalk like this in his fingers. So he can't just go like this to people. He's got he's holding a piece of chalk in his fingers like that. Again, you can you can cut that and say, oh look, he's making the satanic salute. I I stick with when it comes to satanic salute stuff. I I usually stick with photos unless the video is very clear that they're prominently making the symbol and they're keeping it that way and pointing it around. Just to kind of clear that up. But as far as him being Doug Stauffer being on that show, yeah, I would agree with that. The guilt by association. Well, you know, again, you say, well, I hate to use that. Well, it's there. Okay. Um, there are certain shows I will not ever be on or certain quote unquote ministries. Uh, Prophecy Club. Want nothing to do with them. 
They're cars maniac nuts, okay? Uh, Infowars, obviously, no, not gonna do anything with that. There's a couple others, you know, that, that uh, if I would ever be invited, I'd say, no, don't think so. I had a brother actually that was trying to get me to do a debate, a live debate thing with Alex Jones uh, and Steven Anderson versus myself and this brother. I'm not interested in going on the Infowars thing, no. So, uh, continuing here. One way the Holy Spirit began to show me these false teachers was their undoing confusion, and many were pushing the election of Trump. <laughs> she has cough, cough. <laughs> and Mark Taylor's so-called prophecy. Yeah, anybody that supports Donald Trump has got serious, serious issues. Okay, uh, I question the salvation of people like that. All right, pray for your leaders, certainly all that stuff. But when you're when you're just just you know, oh, we got to get this guy in there and stuff. He's Jesuit trained, first of all. He's a fornicating slob. Uh, talk about love of money is the root of all evil. Let's get a billionaire president. He won't be evil. You thought that one out, didn't you? Um, while one false teacher I listened to, ostracized by the others, tried to persuade his audience just the opposite. Again, confusion. In my opinion, the powers that be hired Mark Taylor to predict Trump's election. I have listened to his so-called prophecy, and it is full of domin dominionism, and he claims an angel spoke to him. Careful on that one. Last time I checked, this is how we ended up with Mormonism. Very true. For the first time being awake, I didn't vote. I realized that, I realized the powers that be are going to put in the one that will best fit their agenda. Trump is playing a vital role in the last days. Thank you again. The ministry is a real blessing. P.S. Just watched as Anderson's Catholic cult falling, and I probably don't need to tell you this, but because you seem very in tune with what is going on with the fakers, a thought came to me as I watched and listened, as you are keenly aware. Uh, liars lie. Anderson may not have fired Tyler Baker or anybody else. Kind of makes me wonder. Is Mr. Baker and others in on the cover-up and that they may secretly still be friends? Yeah, professional wrestling, in other words. This could be another one of their scare tactics. As if to say, watch this in your face. We have kicked out men high up in the church. We will not hesitate to do this to you if you do not agree with us. We will publicly humiliate you. Isn't it awful? The deception is so deep, the sheep will not catch on, and there is no untwisting it, nor do they want to. Thank you again for standing for the truth. Okay, um, yeah. I think that's entirely possible that the Tyler Baker thing, him getting kicked out over the Trinity issue... It's not really even that these guys, Tyler Baker's not even becoming a Godhead believer or um, what's the other guy, uh, Garrett Kirchway or whatever. These guys, you, you listen to what they teach on their beliefs on the Godhead and it's not what the scriptures teach. It's heretical. So they're not, you know, they're not presenting the truth and that's why they got kicked out of Anderson's cult. And uh, Anderson is going to do anything to promote himself. Just as simple as that. I mean, that's why mainstream media will cover the guy. He'll, he'll uh, allow his head to be kicked in by, well, not kicked in, but, you know, smashed into glass or whatever um, by Border Patrol guys. Um, he'll get kicked out of airports. He'll get called a hate preacher or whatever. Um, he has is, he is specifically been raised up to make Bible believers, those that hold to the King James Bible, to make us look bad. Um, so, um, but, you know, back onto the thing of Doug Stauffer, um, you know, the way I look at it, if you're on a show like that, this prophecy watchers thing and all these other heretics are on there. Number one, why would the people who run the show want you on there if you're a strong Bible believing Christian? That raises a red flag. Number two, as a Bible believing Christian, if you're strong, why would you go on to something like that? I mean, wouldn't you investigate who these people are? You know, that's, you know, I've, I've been contacted by different people and things and Hey, we'd like to get you and be part of this and, and you know whatever else. No, no, no. It's not that I'm trying to run a cult or I'm afraid or whatever. No, it's just I need to I need to give an account for myself and for this ministry before the Lord. And yoking up with other people that have been tied into other organizations and other things. Nope. Sorry, uh, I don't want anything to do with it. So um, I'm not going to be supporting Doug Stauffer anymore. I'm going to be removing his information off my website. So that's all I have to say about that.